Hello everyone, it's Silas from AsianCultureVulture.com. We're outside Tate Britain and we're here for an exhibition, Women in Revolt, 1970 to 1990, Art and Activism. There's an amazing array of artists, more than a hundred. There are many South Asian and black women featured here. We're going to be talking to artist Pratiba Palmer and to Tupper Biswas. And we're going to be talking to the curator, Inga Fraser, about what we can find here. 18, 19 year olds now really desperately want to hear these stories, to see these artworks and to see them on the walls of the public institutions. I'm with Inga Fraser, who's one of the curators of the exhibition. Inga, welcome to AsianCultureVulture.com. How are you? I'm very well. Thank Good. you for having Good. me. No, fantastic. Um, tell us a little bit how this exhibition, whose idea was it? So this exhibition was conceived of by Lindsay Young, who's the lead curator, and it was really a response to um, wanting to showcase some of the work of her mother's generation of artists. Um, so it was an art history that both she and I were not taught. We did art history at uh, university, but we were not taught about these works. All of these artists did not come yeah. into our teaching at all. You can identify certain pockets of people kind of trying, um, but it was by no means widespread. So it was really our attempt to kind of bring this into the kind of more mainstream discourse. Yeah, so I mean, this is a... It's, not, it's still some of this is 50, nearly 50 years old, isn't it? And it's not... not got onto syllabuses or not something that people are really, when you're doing art history or even fine art that mm -hmm. people are engaging with? young people? I think certainly more and more now and it's certainly a history that younger people are hungry for. I've done some teaching myself and I can definitely say that 18, 19 year olds now really desperately want to hear these stories, to see these artworks and to see them on the walls of the public institutions in this country so that's hopefully something we're serving. Okay. How did you go about putting this together? There must have been a, a lot of very hard decisions about whose work should be included, how uh, you know, the, even the time period, you could have gone a little bit into, up right up to Absolutely. 2000, possibly, maybe, I don't know. I think the Talk research that, that's but... gone into this show has, it could have resulted in 10 different exhibitions. It may yet result in 10 different exhibitions. Yeah. So the works have been brought together through conversations, so conversations directly with artists, with artist estates, um, and sort of asking, you know, where is your work from this exhibition? Did you, you know, did you keep it? What happened to it? So it's been put together through dialogue with the artists, and that's why it is this sort of incredibly personal take, because it's about a kind of connection between people. And that's something that we wanted to bring out in the works themselves. You know, collectives of women working together, the works we see in this room, many of which were exhibited together at different points. So that's how it came together. And were you looking at that counterpoint, uh, you know, the commonality of the expression or some, obviously some artists work together and we, we see that here. Some of the Asian artists uh, were part of this collective, which we're in front of, the magazine, yeah. Mukti. Um, I, I think we did not, we absolutely did not put this exhibition together based on sort of, you know, getting works that look the same. This, there's yeah. an incredible diversity of works, of materials. We've got film, video, printmaking, textile works, paintings, just everything that you can possibly think of, which shows the incredible resourcefulness of women working at this time across those two decades in the 70s and 80s. Um, but more and more, as you know, as the exhibition came together, you can identify certain themes. They're not necessarily explicit, but when you get in here and you look at the detail, you can see things kind of travelling across yeah. the different rooms, certain themes and materials. Yeah. And was it important to have the black and South Asian element? I mean, that's what we were here yeah. if it wasn't. But it's an important part, and I think, uh, I don't know how many artists of colour you, you've got in this exhibition but 
it seems like it's a good good number yeah healthy we, number we've got you know these two rooms which really showcase that period so we have a couple of really important events we have um in 1981 we have the first um exhibition that was sort of co-organized and showing exclusively work by um asian south asian women um so that's called five asian women artists and that was um co-curated by bajan hunjan and chyla berman um and you know, that kind of moment of people coming together under the kind of umbrella of political blackness, um, making different work, continued throughout the 80s. And that's really what we're celebrating in this room. We've got works by Nina Edge, by Zarina Bimji. It's, it's an incredible, incredible selection. Yeah, it was an incredible range of artists that you have. And they're all women, which is fantastic. Yeah, yeah amazing. I don't want to get too political, but I think there's a feeling sometimes that uh, there's a lot of what we might call in a crude tabloid sense, left-wing agit uh, agit uh, mm -hmm. the activism part, obviously. How do you deal with a criticism that is kind of slightly anti-establishment? Anti so Tate's position is actually just to showcase the work of artists and that so that happens across a, right, a range of different practices and political views. Um, you can see some of the issues that kind of reverberate. So, for instance, access to funded childcare, the right to equal pay. Um, and these are really rights that, you know, we should all be yeah, hoping yeah, yeah. for and striving for. And we're not quite there yet, but hopefully this exhibition brings together some of those stories and helps people think about them and how they actually impact their own lives today. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you.